again is another safe place to cross the road here. So as I approach the pedestrian light, press the button, wait for the signal. Let's try to do it on the right. Whippendale Road, we're crossing here. Great, there we go. So, crossing the road now. It's quite a busy day today, as you'll see. This has been the day of the race for life in Watford. There's been quite a lot of people who've come to Casterbury Park. Some of those would probably like to have come by tube. Uh, if the clock's derailing happens, that won't be a possibility. Another road to cross. And away we go. You'll notice this is a large dual carriageway, triple carriageway in some places. Um, there is a level place to cross it here. Perhaps we'll go on a bit further and see if there's somewhere else to cross it. At this point, the pavement's reasonably wide, but it gets a bit narrower further on. Now, don't forget, this is a Sunday, so this is Sunday traffic. I'll be cycling at about 10 miles an hour here. Slow down a bit if I can to walking pace without falling off. Now, this traffic here is not untypical of a weekday. There are various uh, points to cross the road. I wouldn't recommend these to any of my children if they were intending to cross. So I'm going to go and see if I can find a more protective crossing. Now here you'll see that the pavement is starting to narrow. And uh, you imagine four or five boys walking abreast as they do. That's problematic. Oh, hang on a minute. There's a junction here to negotiate. Oh, I thought there was going to be a car turning in. Yes, there is a car turning in. Is it safe? He's indicating there's somebody pulling out of the turning. Okay. Looks like it might be safe to cross. Ah, pedestrian lights. So that seems like a sensible place to cross the road. In fact, since there are pedestrians here, I won't cycle behind them on the pavement. Press the button again. I'm actually going to dismount from my bike at this point here because I don't want to uh, knock anyone down or fall off. The old lights are green. I'm crossing the road in front of the Sky Ford garage and uh, can't really cycle here because there's other pedestrians walking along the road. Don't forget, it's a lovely sunny Sunday morning here. Uh, imagine what this will be like at 8 o'clock on a cold, wet, rainy November morning. December or January, February, March, or for most of uh, what it's been like, even June this year. Pretty unpleasant. It'll be interesting to see how long this video lasts. As you can see, the traffic's quite constrained and uh, the pavement's not all that wide. It's quite well used. Somebody running past here. This queuing traffic is quite typical. It's weekday or weekend doesn't seem to make a difference. Yeah. That's a few side streets to cross. Mostly, in fairness, they're not too busy. But as you can see, I'm a cyclist and there's no real safe place for a cyclist to cycle, although there is an alternative back street route. It involves a bit of a hill, so uh, not very much of a hill 
Well, there's a regular cyclist, but uh, maybe some of these children might try to avoid that. Okay, the pavement's clear, so I'm going to cheat now and remount my bike. So, I hope this is all uh, looking reasonable. If it is a bit bumpy and joggy, I think you'll forgive this. So, I'm now walking, I'm about halfway along Rickmansworth Road. A few bumps in the pavement, so sorry about the jogging vision. Another side street to cross. Observer drive. Oh, there's a car pulling out of it. Better take care there. So I'm do now doing this at a much faster than walking pace. There's a van ahead pulled up on the pavement, RAC van, it can happen. There's also some commercial premises along here which accept deliveries. But this isn't the ideal environment for school children to walk through. And coming up to the corner of Hagden Lane and the possibly inappropriately now named Metropolitan Station Approach, because it won't be approaching the station, you can see the blue box storage on the corner. The traffic's pretty much at weekday there, wasn't that? Probably because of the race for life that I mentioned before that's taking place in Canterbury Park today. So here is a reasonably safe place to cross at the traffic lights. So we'll just press the button. Because it goes with the jogging and press the button with the other hand. Seems to make more sense. And get ready to cross this road. Now here you can see on the other side there is in fact a proper designated cycle path. We've had to go quite a way before we get to it. This is the direct route of course from here to Watford Grammar School. See the man is still red at the moment. I'm doing what the boys ought to be doing in the morning and waiting. It is possible that some of them might take the law into their own hands and cross the road without waiting. It can be quite a long wait at these lights. The, uh, the lights are stacked in favour of uh, cars pulling out of Hagden Lane, which is up there, and pulling out onto Rickmansworth Road as these cars are doing travelling uh, south as they would be for a Metropolitan Station approach. So hopefully in a moment the lights will change to green for me, and I'll be able to cross the road. There we are, green man, off we go. Uh, again, I'm on pedal power now. So I cycle across here. Wobbling a bit. The cars are looking at me a bit peculiarly. Why is that man riding a bike and videoing at the same time? Looks a bit dangerous. Well, yes, it is. So you don't try this at home. Here I am, back up about 10 miles an hour on my bike speedo. Walking along the reasonably narrow pavement. And I reach the, in a moment, on my left hand side, the school music block. Now there is a way into the school here, which uh, I'm going to do. It's reasonably steep on a bike, so there's some puffing and panting on my part, please forgive me. Here I go, up the hill, over the hump. and into the school grounds. And up to the school front entrance. I think actually it's worth to walk around the front from here, but I think you get the general gist. Thank you very much for looking.